So keep your doors and your windows locked and closed, folks, if you live in South Carolina. And the CDC wants to reassure you that the monkeys pose you no threat unless you come in contact with it them. It almost sounds like a nightmare beginning to a story you would tell kids the night before Halloween, folks. But this is no nightmare and it's not a story. It's real life happening in real time in the United States. So I've got a story that I want to tell you guys. It started with some monkeys escaping a research facility. A facility known to be testing for different vaccines for humans. They use primates because genetically we're very close to them. Not the first time that in 2024, a story about these monkeys has broken. It's full and cruel experiments. Watch this. That's what South Carolina Representative Nancy Mace calls Morgan Island or Monkey Island. Tonight, she's trying to end it. WJCL 22 News' Tia Maggio was live in, in Beaufort County. And Tia, Congresswoman May says she wants to save taxpayers $20 billion. Yeah, Shannon. Today, Mace actually is urging the National Institute of Health for transparency on its funding of alleged animal experiences being conducted in its lab. There are hundreds of monkeys off of Morgan Island that are used every single year. South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy Mace has been fighting for the lives of Morgan Island's rhesus monkeys since 2021. Wednesday, she sent a letter to NIH's director demanding new information on all experiments being performed at its lab on the island. We have a right to know what's going on on the island, where these monkeys are going. The letter is a follow-up to one Mace originally sent to Dr. Anthony Fauci back in 2021. After a taxpayer watchdog group discovered 600 out of the 3,500 monkeys were being removed from the island for experiments funded by taxpayer money. Where these monkeys are injected with diseases like Ebola uh, and experience neurological disorders, uh, hemorrhaging, pain, and no pain relief is provided, and either they die in the experiments or they're killed afterwards. In the new letter, Mace referenced, quote, disturbing videos, photos, and documents of the experiments. It's disgusting. It's barbaric, it's cruel. And Tia, you tried to talk to the NIH today, right? Yeah, Shannon, well, I tried to talk to them today to see if they would comment on Mace's letter, but unfortunately, Shannon, I never got a response. Back to you. All right, Tia, stay on top of it. Thanks so much. Now, folks, that was recorded nine months ago, but you have to understand why. Why are there monkeys in America? Because it's not just South Carolina, folks. It's Florida, too. Watch this. In central Florida, he cautioned those numbers would grow. Now it's happening. A big male like the one that is in that video that's been seen over in the Jacksonville, that's an extremely strong, potentially very dangerous animal. Run behind you! Not only are the animals physically imposing. Strong arms, a very strong bite, you know, large canine teeth. But they carry and shed the herpes B virus, which can be fatal to humans. That monkey's gonna get you. The monkeys have been a feature of Silver Springs State Park since the late 1930s, when an enterprising tour boat operator released them on a man-made island as a tourist attraction. And guess what? They're adaptable, they can swim. They left the island. The monkeys have lived in the park ever since then, alternately mesmerizing and terrifying park rangers. They've ranged well beyond the park boundaries over the last 80 years, with sightings as far as Tampa and Apopka. But this is the first time the monkeys have been seen on the first coast. That is definitely a concern, because I walk the dogs at like 5.30 in the morning, and it's pitch black out. Carrie Bennett is wary about her new neighbors. If they came after you and they bit you, you don't even know what they have. Over there. Others, like Jason Parks, consider them honorary friends. My sister named him George. But even Greta Mealy, who works with primates, agrees. He doesn't belong here. It's not the kind of animal that you probably want hanging around. But the reality is, they aren't going anywhere. Two years ago, in response to research predicting the population would soon double, state wildlife managers at FWC released a statement saying they support active management to remove these threats. But there is no explicit plan to do that. 3,000 of them, and they live about seven miles 
off the coast of Beaufort, South Carolina, which is about an hour south of Charleston. Now this is the part where you go, hey Mace, why is there an island full of monkeys in South Carolina? And that's a great question. This is Morgan Island. The upsetting thing to me about this story is that these monkeys were brought here to be able to test them. And we all know that it's cruel what they do. And I just don't think gain of function testing should be going on in America using primates. I don't know about you, but that is bad as using puppies, folks, or rabbits. I have a real problem with it. And again, where's PETA, right? I got a lot of questions about that when we did the squirrel and raccoon story for you recently. Well, PETA is an NGO, it's a left-leaning, organization and it's solely political folks they never show up when they're really needed Here's what's going on in south carolina today please like comment subscribe tell me how you feel about this because personally the fact that this is what they're warning if you come in contact with these monkeys right can cause encephalitis which is like a brain infection and spinal cord infl inflammation that can kill and or paralyze humans. Now they're, they're going to claim that the monkeys that have recently gotten out don't have that. They're juvenile, they've not been tested. But listen to what the CDC warns. As long as they don't have contact with you, they're not a threat to you. So tell me what you think. Watch this clip personally. We've got to do better than this, folks. We've got to do better than this. Workers are laying traps to catch dozens of monkeys that escaped from a research facility last night. CBS News spoke with the company's CEO, Dave Malkoff, reports. The 43 rhesus macaques made a break for it on Wednesday, escaping from the Alpha Genesis Primate Research Center in Yemassee, South Carolina. And the caretaker was doing her normal routine. She failed to secure the doors and the monkeys basically just bolted through the opening. They're very social monkeys and they travel in groups. So when the first couple go out the door, the others tend to just follow right along. So the reason why they got out was literally monkey see, monkey do. Absolutely. President and CEO Greg Westergaard says the monkeys, which are used for vaccine development, are hanging out in the woods near the facility. A bystander says he saw the escape, although the video he recorded could not be verified by CBS News. I think they're having an adventure. The fugitive primates are described as cat-sized adolescent females. You want it? You want it? I met a similar species on assignment in Sri Lanka. In a statement to CBS News, the CDC said the monkeys pose no threat to public health as long as people do not come in contact with them. Hoping for a happy ending. That's the number one important thing to me. Dave Malcolm.